Oh, you might have to. You might have to jump on the fire rescue. See if you can jump on on the virus. Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with MGRC.com. And uh, just getting set up on YouTube right now. Welcome. Now it's not working. We're trying to see, find the virus. It's another connection. So, hey, wow, Kevin. Kevin, man, appreciate you joining in real quick there. You're quick. I'm in notification. What's up, RC Axe Garage? What's up, Jeff? Appreciate you guys joining in. Lois, what's up, Ben? Appreciate you joining in. Yeah, man, the AMG. So I appreciate all your support, all you guys there. There's a few of you guys already in here that have already know that you purchased one. So I definitely appreciate that. Pre-order, I should say. So hopefully we'll be getting those in here in August. So I'm going to get more information here by the end of the week so I can really kind of seal in when they'll be here exactly. But I was already it's already slated for August for these cars. This was one that Kyosho sent to review a lot sooner. So there's only like two people. I think it's another another company got one and then myself. So that's how you get to see this one right now because I just jumped on right when I got the, the car in as of yesterday from FedEx. I went out, let's, let's go here and let's do some shots and whatever. So that's what we got. And so yeah, man, definitely appreciate you guys. Oh, what's up, Scott? <laughs> Let's see, did I miss anybody right there? Oh, what's up, Capture Today, Javier? Appreciate you joining in, man. Appreciate all the support as well. I know you just picked up some mini Zs from us as also. So definitely, and you just got the AMG, so that's pretty awesome, dude. So I definitely appreciate that one. So, so I, I think we're doing all right as far as the video that we did yesterday. Man, it was a lot of fun to run this car. Anyhow, this thing's awesome. I love the aggressiveness on the car. and. Um, I will go over a little bit more in detail, probably do another video on it, just kind of going over. There are upgrades for it. They've been out. This is a, this is already, this platform has already been out for about a year, maybe a little bit over that now. So there's already upgrades for it, but the only thing is as of right now, because due to the issues going around that, um, you know, part, trying to get more upgrade parts and things like that are going to be short, but just let me know and i and i've already back ordered some upgrade parts anyhow so you guys just kind of let me know in regards to it but we'll get more as as time progresses as far as on this stuff so i'm going to do it the main thing is when you're doing any upgrades on this the, the first focus i would just say if you want to put like a brushless system in it is just go ahead and get the aluminum drive shaft for the car that's going to definitely be ready to go so yeah man it's an awesome car man i it's sick looking as far as that front end, man. They did a heck of a good job, Kyosha did, you know, as far as getting, hitting the mark on the car. So I definitely like it. Let's see. Oh, what's up, Jeff? <laughs> Red Sox not win. I don't keep up with, I think, baseball there, but yeah. <laughs> as far as, uh, let's see. Is it the short chassis? Um, You know what? Let me see here if it says. Sometimes it'll have an L for a long chassis or or not. Um, tell you, let's see here. It says L. This could be it. Let me go ahead. I got another. I got this phaser over here, which is the same uh, chassis. So let's go ahead. Let's compare those two. So I appreciate you asking on that. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just do a comparison. So if by chance, by wheelbase, by chassis, let me see if I can kind of I'm gonna move this here. We get an underside look of the car, or both cars. I'm just going to put them up like this so we can kind of see. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that and if it's angled right or not. But to it looks to be the same because the tires are going to be a little bit different. But if you look on just back to back on them, they look pretty similar or same. So I'm kind of just eyeballing them as well. So I'll have to do. But yeah, I believe they're going to be the same exact. Man, I don't see there being any difference. Let's see here. Let me go ahead. And if I'm not mistaken, there I have this one here. This is the same aluminum drive shaft. They do have a red one, but like this part number FAW051. So I know it's gonna be hard to see. But you might be able to flip-flop on this. Anyhow, the FAW051.
but we'll get more confirmation. But I did order, I did back order the red ones, and I believe these are just, it's just the model before. It's the same chassis, so this will fit perfect in here. Um, I will be doing an upgrade to this drive shaft as well, so I can let you guys know. But I don't see there being, I don't see there being any difference as far as with that. This should be just no problems. Let's see, really nice looking. Oh, let's see, Jeff, what's that? Oh, the motor and electronic speed controller. Um, the motor, okay, so someone did ask me about the, the electronic speed controller. Is it 3S compatible? So I would say it's a 60 amp electronic speed controller. We'll go ahead. It's the same. I think it's the three, it's capable of a 3S. The problem is, let's, I'm going to check and just checking some electronics here, but I think this one does say like it's compatible with a 3S LiPo, but the motor's not going to be. I will run that thing, probably I will, like I did in one of my other videos, same exact car, man, um, was the Dodge Hellcat. So it has the same platform. I had it like a little over, I think around a little over a year ago. If I'm not mistaken, I have to check back on that video. But um, I ran it on a 3S, only for a short time just because I didn't want to burn up the motor because already people were like, oh, no, 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 no. You can run the electronic speed controller is good, but just not when it comes to the motor, you're going to burn it up. But it ran like 36 miles an hour, somewhere right around there. Let's see, you can run it on 3S, but uh, yeah, wouldn't long. Oh, yeah, for long. Yeah, exactly. RC Addicts Garage. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Kurtz RC, what's going on? Appreciate you joining in. Let's see. I think the Mad Van is longer. Yeah, I think that's the one that has a little bit longer wheelbase. One that... There's one of them, I don't know if it's even the Rage might have it. So there might be that platform uh, with the phaser line that might have the longer chassis as well. So, but yes, let's see. Hello, RC Show Off, what's going on, man? Appreciate you guys joining in. Let's see, if you do change the, oh, the, diff the drive shaft. Oh, if you do train, yeah, if you do. I didn't have any problems, I mean yesterday running the thing. No problems with the drive shaft because it's only on a 2S LiPo. So, you know, that's what's recommended for it. So when you go to 3S in that, you know, obviously things are going a lot faster. So then you start having issues with the drive shaft starting to get the wobbles in it. So yeah, that's when you want to go ahead and upgrade that electronics or the drive shaft. Let's see if you can, I'll take that drive shaft. Oh, you, you want that one? I got more coming. So if that's the case, man, I can always add that to the collection there as far as for you. Yeah, but I'll have to find out what the price is on it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's like eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. Not bad at all. Skill realism is where it's at. Yeah, man. Let's see her. Rude dog. What's up, man? So, yeah, the scale look, definitely. That's what I like about Kyosha. They definitely bring the scale look to it. And this, they know slouching on this car. This thing is amazing looking. I just want to show you guys that front end, too. I mean, that front end is like sick. I love it. Looks good. So even when I was at the Mercedes dealership as of yesterday, too, they had one of them. I kind of put the car up next to it. I mean, this one, I mean, obviously it had the wing on it, this, you know, racing looking, but that car was amazing looking anyhow. Expensive, but I think they hit the mark when it came to this car. This thing looks, I know, I was in awe when I had it. Honestly, when I did the video, too, you know, one thing is when I'm doing the unboxing, I was like, when I saw it, I was like, I just want to run this sucker. So, um, but like I said, we'll get some other kind of more in depth on it but honestly this this chassis has been out for a little bit anyhow so it's not like it's the bodies is what's you know bringing a lot of interest to it and i think it should because it's an amazing looking uh, body that they did on there just like this one as far as the camaro so i mean if you're into like the scale cars and stuff like that the way they look i mean that's why i got this 1969 um, camaro the z28 just because well this is another kyosho car i never ran this car i've had it for a little bit and it was not really the intentions to run this car. It was more of like just kind of a, you know, a shelf queen. So I had to run this one anyhow because obviously Kyosha was like, hey, we just sent you. You're one of two people to get this thing. So do a video on it. And so I was like, well, of course, man, we're going to do a video on it. Absolutely. And I thought, why not? You know, and then take it to Mercedes dealership. And they were really kind. So I was very impressed with that as far as them letting us actually record there and it was perfect stage where we were at to go ahead and uh you know have the backdrop and everything like that too and actually where we were standing is where one of the gt3 cars was sitting at one point in time 
in their showroom. So I was like, yeah, man, that's that's even that's awesome. So I definitely like. Anyways, I like Mercedes. They got nice stuff, man. Tech, not yet. I have. Uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, let's see here. Uh, that car is awesome. Do they sell just the body? I'm sure RC Show Off. They will sell the body as of right now, since it's just being released. But that will be something that they'll have also. So look out for that. Um, if you're just interested in the body, that usually comes. It might come during the same time as the cars, but I didn't hear anything about the car body. But I would say if it's not coming next, we'll say I'd say like next month, like it's far away. Uh, in August next month, they should start. Uh, we'll have more information. But I can always ask the our Kyosho dealer anyhow, Efren. Uh, I do want to give you an update too. I did know we had Efren from Kyosho on the channel here a couple weeks ago. And uh, we did, I did get an information and I was like, hey, we want to showcase a new vehicle. And he's like, um, yeah, we're, it was slated for September. So they've pushed back, but hopefully we'll get more information on it as it gets closer to September. And hopefully we can kind of premiere some of those, that new car as well. So I definitely like the, this Kyosho relationship that we have right now anyhow. So it's definitely cool. Uh, let's see here. I see these things, man. I got the OMG from. G oh yeah, Mois. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely appreciate that. So uh, yeah, even my my cousin. I, we, I had some other guys like uh, I know RC Axe Garage. He's getting one. You know, we got Ten Scale Garage is getting one. Obviously, Mois on here. Um, it's another guy that's on here as well, Javier. So there's a few of you guys. Oh yeah, let's see. Capture today. It's another guy that's getting one. But yeah, there's more. But uh. Yeah, I actually ordered a few more cars because I already ran out of what I had pre-ordered. So I was like, oh, man, or I kind of not. Yeah, the pre-order. So, yeah, it was good. Let's see. What's your opinion on the Ozzy RC Playground situation? I haven't actually, you know what? I'm not sure how you say that exactly. Kaziar? I don't know. Um, I don't know anything as far as the situation on the Ozzy RC playground. I know as far as like the Arma situation that he had, that he had like a five-year relationship with Arma, and they've part ways as of right now. But I don't know anything more than that. that I saw that on his Instagram post. It was like a couple weeks ago, probably, that he posted that, and that was it. So, other than that, I don't really get into too much of the gossip or anything that's going on. I kind of stayed to myself. I got my own stuff, but I did see that one post anyhow, and I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it is what it is. I did know that uh, True Boys, RC, and uh, who's the other one? Uh, Big Gap, Gap Reviews from A to Z. He, they did do an armor uh, interview. So I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. We got anything on this? Okay, cool. Let's see. Yeah, I will be doing a live come on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is kind of like one of those things like, hey, maybe uh, I will have probably another video on this maybe tomorrow. We'll see how this all kind of plays out. I do want to get some more videos on it. I do want to kind of give it a little bit more power too. But I probably will run it on on a 3S LiPo just on the bone stock electronics, even though it's like that's not a good idea. But if you do it for a short time, it's all right. So maybe I'll push it, see how fast we can kind of get the car to go just on the stock. I already have a different gear I can stick in there. Kind of like what I did with 10 scale garage. We kind of were able to get, um, am I thinking of, oh, the red cat. So the red cat car, we got it up to like 43 miles an hour on a brushed motor. I used the stock electronics with it and it got up to 43 miles an hour. So maybe we'll do that too. We'll go ahead and see how far we can push this one. I should have grabbed a little bit bigger gear because I think I have only a 33 tooth pinion gear 32 33 i think this thing can handle up to like a 37 tooth pinion gear if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong um but it might be right around there because i did see it's kind of where you can gear it so we'll have to see in regards to that one but it would be kind of interesting just to see how far you can push a brushed motor a little bit faster anyway oh yeah what's up 413 413 rc man appreciate you joining in yeah i think sweet all right yeah i definitely dig it it looks amazing that's a yeah, you'd do it. Oh yeah, okay yeah, like a 37 tooth pinion gear. Uh, oh, you have you have a 30 tooth tooth pinion gear. Yeah, I think I I think it's a 33. It is a 33 now that I'm thinking about it because I had a 33 in my HPI racing 
anyway, the two wheel drive there, the, the jump shot. So that's all I have. I'll have to grab another gear or whatever. I should have grabbed it when I, when I was making an order. So anyway, I'll just put them like, hey, I need, I need this gear too. So we'll see how this all goes. But yeah, that'd be a good one just to kind of, yeah, maybe do something like that. We'll do, we'll do a speed run with it, even with just a 33, see how fast it goes on 3S and then maybe bump it up a little bit on the teeth, but maybe just get a different gear and then see how, how big of a gear we can get it in there and then run it and just kind of without burning up the motor, hopefully. I'm sure that will happen, especially with that a big gear like that on there. I'll have to find out what gear is in there. I believe there are plastic pinning gear that's in it. So it's kind of like a push on, press it off, or you know, however you got to do it. So, and I think, again, like, eh. Anyway, uh, I did have someone else ask about the car, like how does it handle? And I will say, Man, it, I've had, like I said, I've had the Dodge Hellcat and that handled really well. So this one was no different, man. It handled really well. It's planted. Um, so how I got some of these shots too, and I've told some people before how I got them. Uh, I'm in my trunk So as far as how I'm getting these. I've done it before where I was in my, in a minivan or in a van, not a minivan, a van, and I was hanging out the backside of it at one point in time. But in this one, yeah, you know, you got to use what you got. And I went ahead and just, uh, we got in, in the trunk and I got the GoPro and just to have a selfie stick basically. And I'm getting there, I'm driving and trying to record at the same time. And obviously you're seeing things backwards and then I have my wife driving. So I was like, you know, go, you know, this thing will do 25 miles an hour, at least with the, with the uh, LiPo battery I stuck in there on the 2S, which is not bad for a 2S LiPo stock car. I don't think that's, I think that's pretty respectable. And then um, from that point, I went ahead and, yeah, I just want to go ahead and we'll have to uh, get it on the 2S. I lost my train of thought on that one. I, I got caught up in the, in the trunk part of it, too. Have you seen the Mercedes uh, badges on the front? Oh, ha what, why? What's, oh, yeah, I can see. It looks, is it crooked on there? I kind of just looked at that, too. Yeah, you know what? You're... I think that's what he was talking about. It is crooked. You notice right there? They didn't put the sticker on correctly. I just realized that too. I was looking in my camera and I'm like, hey, wait a second. That thing's all kind of tilted sideways. Didn't even see that. Good, good catch on that one. I don't have any prizes for you for catching something like that. It's kind of unique. So I have to, wow, they couldn't get that mistake. Yeah, that's funny. I was looking just in the camera here. And I'm like, oh my God, you're right. I didn't, I did that on the last video. In the trunk. Oh yeah, you did do that RC show off. So you did that as far as in the trunk, you know, whatever it is. Now, when I went like about 25 miles an hour, then the trunk lid wants to smack me in the back of the head. So I've had that experience before too. And um, it caught me off guard a little bit, but it didn't hurt or nothing like that. But it was like, what the heck? That thing's smacking me on the back of the head. I need a little hatchback or something. It'd be easier just to kind of lay down and drive it. So, but you know, it is what it is. It was still a lot of fun, man. It's a good car. As far as handling it, too, you can pretty much you can push it where you want to for the most part. I mean, as long as you're fairly well at driving your RC car, you know, it was pretty easy to get this thing sliding around. Now, with a little bit more power in there, like a brushless system, maybe a little bit um, when it comes to maybe a more powerful brush motor, but I'd honestly, I would just go with a brushless mode, motor setup. Um, yeah, and you can really push this thing, even drifting just with these rubber tires that come on there. And it does look good because it, let's see, let me go ahead and these calipers that are on there, like it looks good. Maybe even paint them a different color, but they re look really cool. As you can see, the, the brake rotors, calipers in there, I mean, it looks good. On some of the cars, the Kyosha cars, you can't really see that because of the way the rims designed based on the time, you know, the times of that particular car. Like we're going to say like this, the Camaro, you can't see it, but they are back there. Now they do have... Uh, other rotors that come with it, the disc brakes. I believe it, I don't know if it actually does an offset to it, but they're not as shiny, so they look more ceramic. And I have it off to mess with that too. I usually just kind of run what you get. It is, a, let's see, two offset brakes. Okay, so it's offset. So you can go from, that's kind of weird. You can go from a 90 millimeter body to a 200 millimeter body. So if you're looking for like bodies for the cars and stuff like that, that's what this thing can accommodate. So I believe as far as just even the width that way, I thought the 200 millimeter was its length. But anyhow, 
yeah, so that's what those little disc brakes are on it. And I was looking, now even here, I'm just kind of looking at it, it says 60 amp and it does have, it says 2S. So you know, they're pushing 2S because anybody that's looking on the box itself and says, if they said 3S, then they'd be in deep trouble because now they've said 3S, but the motor can only handle a 2S light bulb. So it's just voltage difference is what I'm talking about here. But I think, the, yeah, I think it's pretty good as far as when it comes to the performance of it. And now I'm going to be stuck on that sticker being like that. I can't believe I didn't even notice that before, too. That's funny. So now it's going to bug me now that I saw that. And I, I've been, I looked at the video quite a few times where I'm like, oh, I like that shot where it's like right up in the camera. Oh, it looked really awesome. But, yeah. Oh, let's see here. Do you ship to the UK? Oh, little wheezy. Let's see. No, I don't ship to the UK, unfortunately. Just keep it all in the U.S. So, yeah, but I appreciate you asking, too. I've had quite a few people from the U.K. ask about shipping. Uh, I get a little nervous when it comes to overseas stuff. So, yeah, I've, I haven't ventured out outside of the U.S. Let's see. What, let's see. What brushless combo for the GT? Oh, like as far as what would you recommend? Something like that. Um, probably what I'm going to do is go ahead and run something. At least even in, in this one, I might run... Well, I got like a 5,800 kV motor, which is going to be too much because it's a lot of RPMs. But if you want to do some burnouts, then, you know, high RPM and just run it for a short time probably. But I would say, you know, a 4,000 kV, 4,400 kV, somewhere right around there, that should be pretty good. If you go with the lower kV, you're going to want to gear it up anyhow. So you're going to get a little bit more of the torque on it. But I think for the, the cars, it's not really that heavy. So you could probably, you know, you can get away with maybe, yeah, 4,000 would be fine. Let's see any brush. Let's see any brush motors out there that can handle 3S. Um, not like consistently. I don't know. Now, I mean, there are brush motors that can handle 3S and 4S, but those are going to be your crawlers, and those are those uh, high amount of turns, like oh, 50 turn motors, so they can handle that amount of power. But as far as when it comes to, you know, trying to get a lot of RPMs out of your motor and a lot of voltage from it, that's a little bit tricky. I've had it a lot of times with like the red cap motors. I've run them on 3S. Again, even going back to, it was a 540 motor. I ran it on 3S because it was a light vehicle. It worked okay for a short time. I kept checking the temperatures, but I would say stay away from it. If you really want to run a 3S LiPo, you know, go ahead. You're going to have to spend a little bit of extra and, and do it. Unless there might be some that are out there, but it's pretty unlikely that they're, I don't see how they're going to last too long. Again, for like a high-speed car that you're trying to get, you know, that's inexpensive. How fast is the supercar? Oh, let's see. What's up, N Naya? Let's see, Naya Wright? Uh, let's see, Joe. I got an 80 amp ESC and 3,000 kV motor in the E. Oh, okay, right, 3,000, right on. That's a good one as far as RCX Garage. I do, you know what, I do have, but I have a 4,400 kV motor too that came out of a, like a basher truck from Red Cat. But the drive, sh the shaft on it is a little bit, is a, like a five millimeter one than the one point, whatever, three, seven, one or whatever the dimensions. But yeah, but still you'd be okay with that. Cause I know like even like the Traxxas cars, they have like a three, what is it like a, are those are like a 3,600 KV or something around there, you know, it's, for, it's all depending on how it's geared too. But I would say, yeah, that would be good. Even the 3,000 dude. Let's see how fast is the supercar? Oh, oh, so. This one right now, I mean, it's bone stock. It does like 25 miles an hour. It's just a brush system that's in it, but I mean, it's still a lot of fun just to drive it. If you saw the video from yesterday, I mean, it, it moves pretty good for what it is, for the speed. I think you can still get a lot of enjoyment out of it because if you make it too fast, then you know, you're likely to, well, you're gonna go ahead and probably flip the car. You, you, you know, you obviously wanna do some upgrades to it like the drive shaft anyhow, but you know, it's totally a preference as far as you want to go faster. Anyhow, I mean, it'd be cool to have it a little bit more speed. Who was doesn't want a little bit more speed? And especially with the AMG package that has stickers on here of AMG. Obviously, it's a supercar, right? So it's a performance car. So, you, you know, you can always do that kind of performance to it. Even like this guy here, muscle car, man. You, know, you want to have you want to have some extra power underneath the hood, right? Underneath the body. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Let's see here. Oh, let's see. Oh, RC Shelf. Oh, yeah, I did like, let's see, I did that on my left. Okay, yep, yeah, sorry. So my NX, oh, okay, my NSX. Oh, RC Axe Garage, let's see. We'll be able to take a 4S when it's done. A 4S you're going to, you can put on there. 
Now, I don't know what system you have in there. I know some of them, like let's say Hobbywing, they'll say like, oh, the electronic speed controller can handle 4S. But then if you read up the, the motor information, like if you bought it as a combo, they'll say, oh, it can run on a, on a 3S on the, on the motor itself. But then the electronic speed controller will say like it can run from like, let's say 2S to 4S. So you gotta kind of keep in mind on that one, especially with the KVs. And there's some people are gonna say like, oh, well, you could run it for a little bit of, you know, a little bit of time before, you know, things happen to it. But I'm good, like 3S, that's like a sweet spot for, I think, for the smaller RC cars. But yeah, man. And then, definitely. Yeah, I do, I wanna do the. Oh yeah, our, yeah, Ben, as far as, yeah, you don't wanna wreck it yet, man. And as far as like a body goes, yeah, you know, if you're really like, oh, I don't want to mess this one up at all, then you want to go with something a little bit less expensive. These bodies aren't cheap anyhow. So I don't know the exact cost on this body in particular because obviously I don't have prices on it yet since it's brand new. But you, they're not the cheap. They're not cheap. Obviously a lot of detail to it. So for sure. Um, I leave it. Let's see. Let's see. Ideally, the motor should be a 2,000 kV. Oh, yeah. As far as like 4S or something is what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean 4S. I mean 2,000. It just depends on the size of the motor and all that too. You know, then, you, you know, then you're 6S or whatever. That would be, let's see. What is your recommendation for a 6S basher that has oh, spare parts available and isn't terribly expensive? Sorry. Off topic. No, it's all right. Little wheezy there. Um... Let's see, 6S, parts availability. Yeah, you know, that's kind of scarce everywhere. I mean, I even went into like even another dealer, uh, another hobby shop, and they usually have Traxxas and they have Arma stuff, nothing. They had like a couple Traxxas items that were sitting there. Everything's gone. So as far as part availability, I don't even know. I mean, like, let's say we sell Team Corrali, and you're like, well, I don't know what that Team Corrali is. So like, can you see it on the wall? So this is a 6S basher here. Now, this is first revision. What I mean by that, this is the first time Team Crowley, the first time I have really know about Team Crowley, but we do sell it. They've been around since like the 80s, but they're an on-road type RC company, but they decided to dabble in the uh, basher scene. So this is one of their cars. This again, this is their first revision of the car. Um, and they've come, they're starting to come out with upgraded parts, aluminum parts for it. Uh, aluminum chassis braces and stuff like that but this is 6s and this would probably run you like let's say without any sales or nothing like that it's like 529 okay um and like how fast does it go so i, I have videos on this too where i put some grp tires on it and it right didn't i put oh i'm not grp tires sorry i put some like what are they scorpion tires they're from power hobbies and it did like i had it bump it up to like 70 miles an hour but it did about 61 miles an hour out of the box, just with a little bit smaller tire and, you know, obviously belted tires. So, uh, oops. I say it's pretty good. I even seen, again, I'll just, you know, throw his name out there. Anyhow, like Gap Reviews, he's got like a whole fleet of these things. So if he's buying them, he's liking them. And he does quite a bit of bashing as well with these cars. So, you know, I have one, I've had two of them. I did sell the other one because it's kind of like monotonous of the same kind of platform. Even though the one I had was just a Dementor, it's a little bit shorter chassis on it. I just like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep this one and I'll just sell off the other one, you know? So I don't need too much of the same thing, but you know, like these are like same platforms, but I don't know. This is less expensive to do. <laughs> Let's see, I just bought a cheap $16 body on Amazon for it. Oh or, yeah, there you go. I got some of I got some bodies. I could probably put like a different body on here. I got them at like a closeout, and I should put them up on the website too. I want to do something with the website where it's like either like closeout deals or garage sale or something like that on the website. So you know, I just have used cars. I don't have any used cars as of yet that I've posted, and when I do, they well, they're all gone. So I want to go ahead and do something like that. What I'm talking about is omgrc.com right here. Anyway, that's our website. That's a uh, that's us. So yeah, man, um, let's see, loving the new Mercedes. Oh yeah, what's up, John? I know you're loving that Mercedes, man. So, uh, heard that, <laughs> no, yeah. But this thing, yeah, this thing's dope, man, I love it. It was cool, it was cool doing the video. I probably watched it, 
probably 20 times or whatever. I was like, oh man, that thing is really cool. I just like, you know, I, I, it takes a long time to edit. You know, it's, when it comes to just, um, I know you can look at a video, it's like, oh, it's only four minutes long, it didn't take too long or whatever. But if you've done any editing, it's like, geez, it takes a long time to do. I tried to do as much as I could. Again, I just got the car as of yesterday, ran it, edited, you know, and everything like that so I could, you know, have a video out there for you guys to at least say, oh, man, okay, that's the new one. That thing looks good. It's running. Get an idea. Get a little taste of, you know, as far as what Kyosha has to offer and just the looks alone, just uh, it's almost like its own selling point anyhow. Let's see. What's up, gentlemen and women? Let's see. Oh, what's up, Edwin? Appreciate you joining in. Let's see. I bought Let's see, I need a cheap body. Bash. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Gilligan? I guess that's Gilligan there. Let's see, both same wheelbase. Both the same wheelbase. 260 millimeters, which is... Uh, oh, the short chassis, yeah. The long one is the uh, 274 millimeter, uh, millimeter. Okay, that's the chassis. Metal drive shaft. Shaft for both models. Oh, yeah, exactly. Let's see, that is... See what you have in there. So, okay, yeah. You, so you're more, you're talking about the 210 and the 209. Both are this. Both, yeah. I did order some of those. I, I forget which one it is. If it's the 210 or the 209. Anyway, it's the red drive shaft for it. But I do have those in order, so I order quite a few of those. So we'll see how that all, how fast those go too. Once I let everybody know about them. Um, I did, but again, I don't have any of these stock, in stock. So if you're looking to order one of these, we do have them on our website. We, uh, I think we got like four left, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere right around there. I just opened it up as of yesterday for some of the pre-orders. Some of you guys already knew about it. Uh, so those were already kind of sold. And then I, I already called Kyosho today. I was like, hey, I need to get more on back order. Um, so when you get them in, I, I want those. So he's like, all right, got you down. So it's good. But I wanted to... Oh, okay, Super Drake, you're, you're here. Oh, well, I appreciate you joining in, man, and just listening. That's awesome, man. Let's see here. RC, oh, let's see. RC Attic Surprise. I'm still in a couple of new for the bodies. And, oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, then make a recommendation for a basher body for AMG. Oh, as far as me, recommendation for a basher body? Anything that's cheap, man. I don't know. Anything that you can, you know, you can slap on there, you can get, I mean, heck, you can get like these, these are even from like, anything, what is this? Again, I think it's a 200 millimeter body. You can get anything. These things, some of this is like a red cat. This is a WRX or whatever. Even though it's, it's kind of weird how they have it done like rally car. I'm not really crazy about the sticker, but they, they paint everything on the inside of it. But um, yeah, there's a lot of different bodies that are out there as far as that you could put slap on there too because everything's really low profile on this. Let me go ahead. I'll take the body off of here. So guys, that way you guys can see underneath it. So let me go ahead. I don't know why I'm doing this so awkwardly, but I am. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just kind of want to show you guys underneath it anyhow, just in case you're like, well, I don't know what that, you know, I haven't seen one of those or I don't know nothing about it. So let me take a look at it. Why is that one so pain in the boot to get off? All right, let's stop reaching. There we go. I would like them just to come out with a body where you don't have to do the body clips. Like I, I like it with like Traxxas does, and I'm sure maybe some other people. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. How do I get one of the GT3s? Oh, what's up, Mildred? So the only thing you have to do as far as when it comes to the GT3, where you want to get it, you just go to our website, omgrc.com. It's going to be, we have it right on our home page for the website. And it's got our video that we did as of yesterday, our YouTube video. And then right below it is the GT3. So if you want to pre-order it anyhow, so I appreciate you asking. All right, so let me go ahead and kind of show you guys two. I know, I've been saying two. I kind of captured that in my, in my video. I was like, oh, I do say two. But looks good. And let's go ahead and take a peek anyhow. I'm gonna, you know what, the way they have it.
the thing is, I know people are like, hey, is that 2S or 3S? I, I believe it is a 3S, anyhow. The thing is, is that the way they have this thing, a double stick tape is right where the information is, where you normally, so I have to pull that off there. I'm not really wanting to pull it off as of yet. But yeah, a little on and off switch on there. There's your 14 turn that's motor that's in it. Again, I know some people are like, oh yeah, it's got a T-style beam connection that's on there. Again, like the little Velcro strap. I do like these just because of the fact that it's more universal for a lot of different battery packs. And it's pretty long as far as when it comes to this. Let me go ahead and show you guys just the battery pack, just placing it in there. Quite a few options. You know what? Let me bring that mic a little closer. Probably can't hear me as well. So let me go ahead. So here is a 2S LiPo. Get that out of the way. As you can see, that fits in there. There's actually a little bit more. There's quite a bit of a little bit of more wiggle room in there. You got a little bit of space up on the top. A little bit of a gap there so your wires aren't all smashed in there. It does look like it's more like it accommodates wires that are coming out out of the center of the battery. You know, instead of being on the side like this. I'm not I like them when they're coming out the center. It makes it a little bit easier, but this is what it is. Now, that was a long pack. This is a soft pack, and that was a hard case. And that was a 2S LiPo. You guys can see that. So that was just a Gen Ace 5000 milliamp 2S LiPo, 50C discharge on it. So I've had this one for like over a year. It's been pretty good. So that's what I ran yesterday. But I don't use it too often. So that should give you... And there's this is a 3S. So a 3S, 5,000 milliamp, you know, still have, again, that, that strap's nice because they give you enough on there, you know, as far as to accommodate a lot of different batteries. Even though this thing's not capable of a, two, a 3S, at least it gives you the option of doing it anyhow, so. And then, of course, you put a brushless system in there. You can even probably squeeze your 4S system in there, RCX garage, <laughs> so there you go. Um, again, even just the... Uh, when it comes to, like, that's what we're talking about too, the center drive shaft, it is plastic. So again, once you start getting faster, even if you run this thing on a 3S LiPo just for a short time, usually you start hearing a little bit of uh, whining noise and whatever, just because of the fact that that thing's kind of vibrating all over the place too. There you go. And there I said it again. So yes. But it's good. Can't. Why did they say about that sticker? I'm gonna have to. I'm pulling that sticker off when we get done here, so I can change that. I can't believe I didn't notice that thing. I usually always kind of look at all that stuff. I think I was just let me move this mic back. I think I was just in awe yesterday. A lot of things were just like, hey, we want to get this video. We want to do this and that. And I just, I didn't think. The main thing was like the overall of the car and not just like looking at the little tiny details. But I was fixated on like on this sticker. It was coming off just a little bit and I was pushing that back down, but I didn't check that, that emblem. That's crazy. That's funny. Uh, let's see here. RC show. Let's see. Drake, what's up? Let's see RC. RC Annex. Joe. Bend the rings. Oh, okay. RCX Garage, yeah, you're saying bend the rings on the clips to get those off there? Yeah, I should have done that. That way I can get to it and pull them off a little bit easier too. Because, yeah, they are a pain. I like them when they have that little rubber piece that's on it. So that way you can get them off, but then that's this extra little flappiness that's going on. But yeah, bending them up, I've, I've done that with some of them and I've had some of those little body, the body clips that are bent just like that. So that's good. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's see, RC, trying to not spin. Oh, okay, RC Garage, let's see, showing off. Let's see, trying not to uh, spend more than $20, $25 with shipping. Oh, okay, yeah. You mean as far as on a body or so? Is that what you're talking about right now? So, yeah. Let's see, I have two of these. Oh, Gen Z Lipos. Mine has, uh, oh, removable bullet connections on top. Oh, okay, that's, that's good, man. What was the laugh about? Little Wheezy. Let's see, Super Joe. 
relocate your ESCs. Oh, to where the receiver is above the server wall. Oh yeah, I've I've moved my stuff around. When I had the Dodge Hellcat, I've moved stuff around. I actually took the cover off. I've moved stuff around on them anyhow, as far as when it comes to it. And uh, I know like that little receiver is kind of just. It's just kind of, kind of tucked in underneath there. They really kind of cram stuff up in there. They use them sideways or whatever. So, but yeah, that's usually what I do. I start moving stuff. Once I take, well, once I use this brushed system, then off that goes, I'll put my own stuff in there. And then, of course, I'll have to, everything kind of shifted around. Let's see. Oh, Sergeant Jays, what's up, man? It's been a little bit. Yes, Joe. Oh, yeah. RCX garage, yeah. Cheap and broke, man. Yep. When it comes to the body, I do have some. I do have one. I don't know if I could. I get it to you for that. Possibly, somewhere right around there. But shipping is what eats me up on it, as far as when it comes to that part of it. Because the body, it's like, oh, it needs to be a big box or whatever. But maybe I do have some racing ones. They're pro line bodies. And I don't have any. I got a, a stack of them or a couple stacks of them. Anyhow, they're not they're not as thick as these because they're racing. They keep them super light, but yeah, I do have some of them. For one, uh, let's see. Oh, let's see, Sergeant Chase. Let's see what's up, man. Twenty one thirty. Oh man, what is that? What, what time would that? Twenty one. Trying to think what what time that would be. Twenty one hundred. Twenty one hundred thirty. Yeah, that's. Oh, 9.30, thank you. Appreciate the calculation there. <laughs> I was like trying to think. Yeah, it'd be three hour difference. Man, so it's getting late there. Well, you're gonna have to, at least you got a little bit of time before you go to sleep. I don't know what time you go to bed. Let's see, Joe, we will talk on this. Oh yeah, yeah, RCX Garage. Yeah, we can talk later when it comes to, uh, yeah, the body and stuff like that. I can always send you some pictures. I can send you pictures of what it looks like with it being painted just a, a stock photo of it. So I do have a few different ones. Let's see, Arjuna's put some, uh, let's see, oh yeah, put some rally tires on the, oh, you did put some uh, rally tires on the Mad Van? That's cool, man. Sold, let's see, oh, okay, you put them on the Mad Van and sold the Old Faithful Notorious. Oh, okay, Old well, Notorious, wow, I can't believe you sold that one. You looking for something else now, Sergeant Jays? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, the, the Mercedes is definitely dope. I do like it, man. I definitely appreciate you guys liking it too, because it's where it's at. Uh, let's see the Benz. Let's see XBE. Oh yeah, I figured you're going for the one fifth scale. The XBE. That's gonna. That's a big dude. So, um, let's see. Oh, while you guys are in here, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it too. So, yeah, you guys got any questions? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> let's see, I'm trying to think of, like, anyway. But I was going to kind of go on to the mini Z's. We'll, we'll save that one anyway for right now. Because I'm going to do other videos on some of the little mini Z's. But for now, this is like the hot topic. I definitely want to focus on because this thing is just, like a lot of people say, it's pretty dope looking. It is dope. Let me go ahead. Now, um, again, anybody that's kind of joining in as of right now, if you're looking to get one of these, and you're like, hey, man, you got one of them. How do I get one right now? These are just going to be on pre-order. So what is going on is that Kyosho sent this to me for review. Again, this only two people, another hobby shop and myself, were, were granted more or less access. They said, hey, we want to send you one, do a video on it. And I was like, okay, cool, man. We can definitely do that. We did do an interview with Kyosho. We've known Kyosho for a few years at this point in time. So it's not like we just kind of met them and like, hey, here's a car, you know. We've had a long standing relationship with Kyosho. We definitely appreciate them too for sending this out to us. So thank you, Kyosho. And it's just an amazing car anyhow. Again, I've had Kyosho products. And I've had quite a few Kyosho products. So it's not like I'm new to them. But this, is, this platform's been out, like I said, again, for just a little over a year. 
So it's been pretty good. But if you are looking to get one of these cars anyhow, I kind of got sidetracked there. You just go to our website, omgrc.com. It's going to be right there on the homepage. So if you guys want to get one of these, these will be coming out in August. As far as to when in August, we'll let you know a little bit later once we get into August where we're at with the shipping. Obviously, it's usually about uh, when Kyosha says about 30 days. But that I already had information on it that they're going to be coming out in August. Again, this is kind of like a... A sneak peek of what's to come you know like this is their their new car i think it's again definitely appreciate it and you can put leds in this thing i was i want to put leds so i probably will i do have an led kit that i can stick in it and i'm wondering i think it's just i haven't looked at all of it to know how many leds in there but i'm going to assume it's just one led here for the rear you know one on each side so you got the four i don't believe you can add more to it just out of the you know without modifying it is what i'm getting at so i want to do that so we'll get some of that um yeah for sure joe you should have a, a 581 oh 581 reviews on the uh, amg already i know for real should have quite a few reviews on that right i should at least have views i was hoping let's see please do an rc giveaway oh yeah and i don't do that typically don't do if we do any kind of giveaways or anything like that, it would be, we'd let you know anyhow on something like that. We'll have to see how. The giveaways, again, are one of those things where uh, I kind of steer away from it and it's not really to be selfish or anything like that. What it is is that it attracts the wrong people, typically. So, it, but it's not fair to the guys that have been here. Like, hey, we'd like to, you know, maybe do some kind of giveaway. So we'll, we'll definitely consider it. We do want to get, I've said it so many times now, and you know, as far as with Brian, trying to get some t-shirts. I did have, so if you see like, as far as the hat goes, something my wife got me over a year ago. And it, so it's kind of like, I did give do a giveaway for a, a black hat that had OMG RC on it. And I do have some shirts. So actually these were shirts that we had printed a while ago, like over a year ago. And I was like, hey, by the way, oh, we got some shirts that are still in the bag. So we went ahead, grabbed those, put those on for yesterday. So my wife and I, we were both matching when we went into the Mercedes. So we were representing the company well. Yeah, so that way they're like they're not just some strangers off the off the street. So we brought our A game to them, and they definitely uh, showed us their respect, and uh, hopefully we showed them ours as well when we did the video. So I like it; it was good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But in the future, you will ever consider shipping to the UK. Uh, let's say a little wheezy there as far as shipping to the UK while well, I consider it I, you know I always try to consider those things the main thing is is that it's already difficult enough to deal with people that are here in the US and what I mean by that is just because of fraud so I'm not sure how that relates when it goes overseas how much control or not control I have over that situation um, because obviously payment systems that can work I mean our, our website is set up to take all types of different payments but we just limit to it, limited it to the U.S. Um, it's just, just for our own safety, you know, as far as that goes too. It maybe be one of those things. Again, a lot of people will say, "Okay, I want to, yeah, I want to have it shipped. How much is shipping?" And then the shipping becomes kind of expensive. And they're like, "Oh man, you know what? Um, there's someone else that's local here. We can get it for the same price." Or even like in Canada, we've had people where they said, "Hey, how much is this car?" And I'm like, "Well." This is how much it is and this is how much shipping is. And they're like, oh, well, that's the same price. I'm like, yeah, you're not getting any better deal. You know, I don't know what all the duty fees and everything like that. And I did it on eBay and I just said, you know what? <laughs> I just had to take a step back. So that, yeah, unfortunately I do lose it. I do have a lot of outside traffic that comes to the website and I definitely appreciate it. Unfortunately, right now we're just, we have to turn them down just because of the fact that we're just, we're not set up really for it enough and we don't feel comfortable enough. We're a small company that looking to expand anyhow but we want to protect what we have as far as, and we want to make sure that, yeah, totally understand. There's a lot of, uh, yeah, exactly. There's some, some there's some, definitely some skanky little people out there when it comes to trying to scan us. So our website usually uh, filters out a lot of things that are, I know it sounds like it's the AC unit that's taking a whiz right now, but, uh, um, yeah, our system does a pretty good job of filtering out things that are that are scams and things like that. And then we have the we have other things that are lined up as well that we can kind of check and make sure that it's legit. Uh, we do have on our website 
as of right now, kind of letting guys know. Um, we want to make it so if you like your billing and ship to address is the same, and that's just because we want to make sure that no one took your credit cards. More or less to protect you and us. You know, it's like, oh well, that was that was stolen, and that got shipped to another some other person. It could be maybe a few miles away or whatever. You know, that kind of happens that people will steal a credit card, and then they'll use it and they ship stuff to them. You know, kind of weird, but that's what they do. And so I'm really trying to protect both sides of it. Now we use Klarna, so I use that. I'm a little bit lean, lenient on Klarna. Reason why is they have their own system, their uh, fraudulent team that looks at the orders and everything like that too. So if you're looking to order, and I'll get into the topic of Klarna here, but uh, yeah, they have their own. So if you do want to ship something from I've had someone say, oh, I'm in Florida and they, they want to ship to California. I'm like, well, if you use Klarna, you're cool. I don't know what the heck is that. It's kind of going pretty crazy. Um, but Klarna is a payment option. So what it is, like you can, let's say you want this car. Like, oh man, I really like this car. How much is it going to cost me? Is it going to, are you going to charge me interest to purchase this car? No. Uh, if you use Klarna, you can still use like your credit card. And what it'll do is it breaks it up into four payments. So it's going to be bi-weekly. So let's say, for instance, this car, again, I'll use like $200 mark. And just say, okay, so every two weeks, you're going to pay 50 bucks for the car until it's paid off which again, in just in two months, you'd have it. So that, that money, no credit check or anything like that, and it just goes to your credit card. So obviously you wanna pay off your credit card, so when you do get it in, you, you pay that off. But it kind of at least breaks it up and you're not like stressed over, you know, oh, I gotta buy this all at once, or you know, the wife says, we don't have money for it, we have this much, or something like that. And I get you guys out there like, oh, the wife doesn't want me to buy it right now, or oh, it's good if we do it, break it up in the payments. So that I know how, how that works. So we'll go ahead and, yeah, so that works as far as with the Klarna. And again, you're not paying interest on it as long as you pay it off on your card. And there's no credit report that's pulled or anything like that, so there's not a knock on your credit. But we do have other options where you can pay over time, where like six months or so, and that one does take a hit on your credit report, just so you guys know. Joe, will you ship? Oh, it's in here. Oh, RCX credit, I just want to understand. That's each. Easy, Joe. Will you ship to you if you? <laughs> what is this? If I ship to me, Dwayne Michael Carter, Jr. I'll ship it to myself. If I if I ship it to myself, that's fine. <laughs> Crazy guy. Let's see. Funny you you say that RCX garage. Just kidding. Let's see. Klarna is a good payment option. Uh, makes it more affordable. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I know that actually started, I think that started, originated in the UK or somewhere out, you know, overseas. If I'm not mistaken, it was something like in the UK. And they came over here to the US probably a few years ago because I was con I contacted one of their, they have like two different offices at the time, like in Ohio and New York, if I'm not mistaken, right around there. I used to talk to my same rep all the time from Klarna. So it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, RCX Garage. He's giving out his credit card information here. Don't use that. Obviously, it's no good. <laughs> he just does his, That's funny. Go, Drake, go. Let's see here. Got to make Got to make a call. Be right back. All right. All right, Super Drake, man. Make that money. Joe, that's a little... Oh, Lil Wayne's real name. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was. When I saw it, I saw... Okay, like he did like Carter too. Um, gotcha. That's... But yeah, Lil Wayne. Dang, man. I've... That's funny when you say Lil Wayne too, man. When he's like on the Hot Boys or what was that? Dang, Juvenile. Back in the day, man. RC or the uh, rap. So that's funny. Let's see. I was trying to look to see if I missed anybody else on here. I don't think so. Please do. Uh oh. So yeah, I think that's. I think we're good. Uh, you guys have any other questions, comments, or anything like that, concerns, but I will do a live on Friday. So if you guys have any questions, you want to save them until then, or leave them down in the description below or down in the comments below after this video. But I definitely appreciate you guys watching. Smash that thumbs up before you get out of here. It definitely helps. And uh, keep watching OMGRC.com, man. You guys take care. We're out of here. Later. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate all the support.